Hey friends, welcome to Essentially Jesse. Today I'm here to share with you my top 10 cozy fragrances for summer. So let's get to it. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys. If you enjoy the content, if you like all things fragrance, a little bit of essential oils, a little bit of other stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? As I, I checked my analytics today and only 24% of my views are from subscribers, which means 74 point something percent of you guys are not subscribed. So. If you like the content, hit subscribe and the notification bell. Today we're talking about cozy summer fragrances. So in the summertime, you know, I like to wear citruses when it's really hot outside, just something cool and refreshing. Um, but then whenever, you know, you go on a date or maybe you're like gonna watch a movie on Netflix, hang out at home, or you're hanging out with friends, these are just cozy fragrances that I am really enjoying this summer. So I want to share them with you guys because I feel like we're doing more things at home uh, and everybody's watching Netflix, Hulu, what's your streaming service of choice? Drop that in the comments below. Let me know if you have a go-to like just hanging out at home or going to chill at a friend's house that's just cozy. Drop that in the comments below. I want to know. My number 10 spot is one that is fairly inexpensive. My number 10 spot is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. This is just a uh, like nice cozy fragrance. I don't know. This is just such an easy one to wear. This is really a dumb reach fragrance for me, but it's so cozy for summer. Like, and the fact that it's inexpensive, but it is pretty long lasting. Like, I don't feel guilty about putting this on and then sitting down to watch something by myself. Um, just enjoying my own fragrance. Uh, this is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. So, so good. So, so cozy. And it's on the lighter side, so I feel like it's really nice for maybe evenings at home or evenings with friends um, in the summertime. Coming in at number nine is one that you guys know that I am loving this summer. It is Salt by Ellis Brooklyn. I've already put a little dent in this. I'm not gonna lie. So, oh, if this, if you just wanna be like easy breezy, I love everything about this fragrance. I really do. I'll probably still be rocking this in the fall and winter during the daytime because I love it so much. I love the packaging, I love the color, I love the fragrance. I need to do a full review on this if I haven't already. Um, it's a beautiful, cozy, staying at home, chilling fragrance. So that's Ellis Brooklyn Salt. Coming in at number eight is one that I have loved for a long time. I've probably had this for a year and a half or two. This is Lavanda's Three and On by Lancome. This is from their more niche quality, higher priced, you can't find this just everywhere. You can find Lancome fragrances. I did blind buy this online and I'm so glad I did. This smells like a lavender cookie, like lavender something, like lavender cake, baking with lavender. I don't know. It just makes me feel so cozy because it's like lavender can be kind of, I don't know, just uh, more punchy, I guess is a good word. And this is more soft lavender, sweet lavender, not just the really aromatic lavender. This is more soft, cozy, fun, all the things. So that's Lavanda's Three and On by Lancome. Number seven is Kaoli Utopia. You guys know this is like my favorite new discovery of the summer, maybe. Cozy, warm, vanilla, coconut, utopia. Hello, it's in the name. Gorgeous, love this fragrance. I have a full review on it. I will link it below. I also probably am going to put this in some more top tens. It's just that good. It's just that good. So Kaoli Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. In at number six is Frasize Blondine. I'm loving this. 
This is soft, it is cozy. I don't feel like this projects beast mode. In fact, I don't think any of these do. Don't overspray, obviously, if you're trying to be cozy. Um, but this is, you know, honestly, I don't wear this enough. Um, I just, I hate it when I do that. Whenever I find a fragrance I love and then I save it. I'm like, what am I saving this for? I just need to wear it. So for size blonding, number five of the top five. Vert Malachite by Armani Privé. Yes. Okay, don't overspray this because this is pretty long lasting. This is, this can project. I accidentally oversprayed this once and I regretted it. But we were indoors and I was kind of in close quarters with people. But um, if you're going to be cozy, probably just two sprays. Vert Malachite is gorgeous. It's being discontinued. I have a full review on it. I have a battle between this one and Rouge Malachite. And you can check those out below. But this is just so cozy. I mean, this is for every occasion, really, that I can think of. This would be appropriate. So anyway, no more. Ferret Malachite by Armani Privé. Number four is Ylang and Gold. Okay, I have a full review on this. I have a battle versus this versus the Ylang and Gold Nectar. Check those out. Uh, what can I say? What can I not say? This is just the end all be all everything fragrance. I really need to do an updated like top 10 for life video because some things may have changed positions and then I've added new things to my collection. Oh, this is just beautiful. It's beautiful inside and out. It's cozy, it's warm, it's sensual. It uh, sits closer to the skin. It is everything. Ylang and Gold, this is the original, not the Nectar, coming in at my number four. Coming in at number four is Ylang and Gold by Mikolev. And I have a top 10 list with two by the same company. Coming in at the number three spot is Vanilla. This is Vanilla 28 by Kaoli. You guys, if you are going to be cozy with someone or just by yourself, grab this fragrance. It's so good. Mix this. Mix this one with the other one that I showed you earlier, the Utopia. This is just the perfect vanilla fragrance it's like vanilla plus it's got some little extra zhuzh there or something like that i don't know <sighs> love it love it love it very cozy very great for like cuddling on the couch all the things vanilla 28 by kaoli so this is my number two spot but it really i don't know this was so hard it's really more like 1a and 1b <laughs> can we go with that so this is house of siage with Disney, obviously, so cute. I love the packaging. I've done a full review on this. This is the coziest fragrance. I've probably said that about all of these. These are all cozy fragrances. I guess technically the number one spot would be the coziest. Don't shoot me. Okay, it's like creamy coconut. They actually put this on sale recently for 20% off. If you see this thing on 20% off and you like warm, like milky coconut grab it uh it's so good it's so cute it's so beautiful the fragrance is awesome again this is a closer to the skin fragrance i wore this yesterday and i loved it <laughs> i love this one by house of siage they make the most beautiful packaging and some great fragrances but this one out of all of my house of siage is definitely the like coziest cuddliest should, I, should this be cozy, cuddly? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but this, I wore this around the house yesterday. I kind of felt bad because it is an expensive fragrance, but it's just that good. And winner, winner, my number one A <laughs> in my top 10 fragrances for cozy, cuddly situations is Roses of Anee by Mansara. Mm, I just, I can't, I can't even. I have told you guys about this so much before. Um, I am an oversprayer with the amount of fragrances in my collection. Like this is a significant dent because I got a lot of perfumes. Um, but this by Mansara is a masterpiece. I also picked up Rose's Chocolate. I will have to do a comparison video for you guys, which one I prefer or maybe which one I prefer in different situations. But 
this is my go-to. I like to spray my pillowcase with this. I like to spray my comforter with this. I feel like the juice has gotten a little bit darker over time, but the smell is still absolutely divine. Um, Mansara Roses Fini, oh, my coziest fragrance of them all in my collection for summer. Now this list would look completely different in fall winter. I'll have to do a cozy fall winter video. Um, but this one was just my summer because in summer you don't want to be like Tom Ford, black orchid cuddly. <laughs> uh, that might be a little too much for some people if you're just hanging out with friends at home. But this was a fun list of cozy fragrances. If there are any top 10 lists that you would like to see, drop those in the comment section below. I love doing top 10 lists. I love, um, I don't know, just comparing and contrasting fragrances or really putting them in a box as far as this is good for this occasion and these are great for this other occasion, but maybe not this other one. Did that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Also click the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Smell you later.